Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is Tamur and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. And today I wanna to talk about something finally different from AI and cloud security. I wanna talk about quantum computing. Now quantum computing is one of those things that everyone keeps hearing about, you know, but they are unsure about what it is and how it's going to impact them. You know, unlike things like uh, cloud computing and uh, like uh, generative AI, which is like right here and right now, the quantum computing is like going to be very disruptive, but it seems very, very far away. Even a lot of companies have pointed out that large scale quantum computing, it likely won't be built for another 10 years. A few people say that a lot of people say, no, it's going to be there much, much faster, but uh, uh, the landscape might be about to change very, very soon. As you can see on the screen, NIST have just released their like, latest, the first proper quantum encryption standards. And that's what I wanted to talk about today actually uh, the risk of quantum computing and how it's going to change cybersecurity careers quantum computers will be able to break a lot of the encryption methods at a very very fast speed and the encryption tools that you are using currently if you're in cybersecurity to protect everything from banking and retail transactions you know all of them will become obsolete and attackers are using techniques they're collecting data right now so they can decrypt them later when quantum computer becomes available so, you know, if you have data with a long time value, such as health data, financial data, which are, which doesn't change for like 10 years or 20 years, you're going to be attackers are doing, they're stealing them now so they can decrypt them later. They're not decrypting them now. And this is why it's going to have a huge impact. And that's what I wanted to talk about. There are many, many documents already available on what quantum computing is and what quantum security is. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about this that how it's going to impact your cyber security career and are there any good opportunities because that's what i really wanted to focus on actually today if you're new to the channel please do like and subscribe i talk about things like cloud security ai and you know general cyber security career advice so what am i talking about right now i'm talking about quantum computing and how it's going to impact your cyber security career the impact it's going to have and what opportunities there are. So let's start quickly with what is quantum computing. Like, like I've said before, a full confession, I am not an expert on quantum computing. Okay. Uh, but I do have a general idea. And more importantly, I know the impact it's going to have. Because like uh, it, it's similar to like AI. AI has many fields, right? You don't need to have a PhD in statistics and all that to know about AI, to know about AI risk. So quantum computing is actually similar to this. So what is quantum computing? Well, the first thing to understand is quantum computers are nothing like your laptop or your smartphone. They work in a very different way. Classical computers, you know, they work by digital processors and uh, that can perform complex calculations at a very high speed. But uh, according to IBM, quantum computers, they use specialized hardware that take advantage of quantum mechanics. And by leveraging this behavior, they're able to create like things called multi-dimensional computation spaces. Essentially, they can conduct billions and billions of calculations at the same time. And that means they can solve problems at a very, very high speed. Like I think in 2019, a quantum computer was built by Google. It took over three minutes to solve a computation that would have taken the world's fastest supercomputers like 10,000 years to complete. So with that level of power, you can see why quantum computers have the potential to completely bypass today's security methods and you know the encryption locks that are protecting the world's data and that brings me to this topic which is the quantum cyber security risks and how they will lead into opportunities also so you can imagine that what i've told you if I, you are a hacker they can break through common encryption at very very fast speed everything that you're relying on you know banking and everything and what attackers are doing they're stealing this data right now they cannot decrypt it because they do not have the method. Once quantum computing becomes common, they will be able to break it using the power of quantum computing. And that is the main, main risk of quantum computing, right? And businesses need to understand the quantum risk. So things like web browsing, remote access software, digital signatures, communication, even cryptocurrencies, all of them use encryption and they will become extremely vulnerable once quantum computing becomes widespread. And that's why if you're a company, you need to quickly understand the risk factor there. And every company, you know, it, it holds a data that like uh, they should think about how long this data is supposed to be valuable and what happens if this data gets compromised, right? Because attackers could forge digital signatures, they could compromise encryption. Yeah, and this, all of these things, they're going to profoundly change 
the cyber security careers and cyber security landscape and but this week we've had major developments take place so the national institute of standards and technology they've been working on developing new cryptographic standards that can resist quantum attacks and quantum computing right they've been working on it for many many years they have just released their first three quantum cryptographic standards and the main thing is the summary is these standards can withstand the computational power of quantum computing so even when we, we are living in a post quantum world where quantum computers have become very very common spread that your data will still be secured and like i said so nist is usually if you're not aware they're the us organization and whatever standards they gave out usually the federal government they adopt it and then all the private companies and businesses also adopt and this is a big big step honestly speaking this is probably going to be the largest cryptographic migration in history uh, as you can imagine and and people are already aware of it so companies must assess their quantum risk they must find out where they are vulnerable and make plans for migrating and that leads me to my next point which is the impact on cyber security jobs and there is a big big opportunity here also and as a cyber security professional i would recommend you need to become have a good understanding of these standards how they will get implemented nist is already encouraging system administrators to look at these standards and start integrating it and then, you know companies and governments are going to be scrambling to make sure they are not vulnerable so there will be a growing demand for professionals who are skilled in quantum resistant encryption methods so you must think about updating your knowledge and skill set and key areas you know what are the key areas where quantum computing will impact cyber security so i mean cryptography expertise there's a big opportunity here professionals with deep knowledge of cryptography particularly in the new these new quantum resistant algorithms they will going to be in high demand because you will need these people to implement and manage post quantum cryptographic systems right because this is a completely new area so people who are good they have good expertise in these things they're going to be in very very high demand risk ma- if you're a non technical person you might be thinking how is this relevant to me well no because if you're in risk management and strategy as the threat of quantum computing becomes more and more imminent they're going to pay ccos and crs they're going to lead people they're going to need people who can develop strategies so to to assess what the risk is to quantum computing attacks and what is the road map how do we transition our company to a quantum safe encryption that you will need to assess current systems plan migrations and you know and track it over time provide uh, the results to management mitigate the vulnerabilities all of these things you will need to look at and that th- that is not something a cryptographic expert will be able to do you need somebody with risk management expertise what else a uh, compliance and standards so governments after nist have released this governments and companies across the globe they're going to mandate soon adopting these post quantum cryptographic standards right other standards you know like pci dss which use encryption they will also be updated so cyber security professionals will be they will need need people like compliance people to guide them on how to update these standards what are the like uh, how to inform regulators how to make sure they don't get fined what are the timelines what are the different clauses that we have to follow you will need people with compliance expertise also education and training another one so as quantum computing is a con- completely new field you're going to need people who can actually train people on these standards so you you need people who can take these very very complex things and actually explain it to people so that they stay informed about the latest developments in quantum resistant cryptography and they can adapt to the new tools and technologies right so that is uh, i wanted to really give you a good idea and a good primer so you can start yourself scientists have predicted that quantum power will be available at the in the next 5 to 10 years and honestly ibm is it's predicted it's going to give its first proper quantum system by 2029 and honestly once the first attack happens it is going to be absolutely crazy once attackers start using quantum computing all the governments and companies are going to be running around so now that these standards have gotten the stamp of approval from nist you, you, the us government is going to issue a directive and other companies are going to follow you must get ready for these challenges ahead and there's a big opportunity here like i said if you get these start looking at these skills now you will be in a good position to really like you know benefit from this and you can make find yourself in high demand because you will be one of the few people who have gotten these new skills in a post quantum world and you've like adapted to the evolving threat landscape like ai uh, what do you call like ai i used to talk about ai way before it became popular Uh, after chat gpt came out so this is another good opportunity if you are interested in it so do take a look at it good luck with your career 
Thank you very much. Do like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.